Good evening and welcome to the Illyria Fine and Performing Arts Center. Uh, my name is David Yee. I'm the orchestra teacher at Westwood and Eastern Heights. Uh, and along with my colleague Gregory Smith, High School, Illyria High School Orchestra Director, and Rachel Brown, Eastern Heights Middle School Orchestra, or, I'm sorry, Choir Director, uh, we proudly present a, uh, a nice fall concert for you. So the first group that you have up on stage is going to be our sixth grade orchestra. Uh, and before we get started with them, let me just please remind you to silence any cell phones. Uh, please show the performers on stage, they've worked very hard to put this concert on for you. Uh, please show them respect by uh, silencing your cell phones. Uh, we have a, a nice program for you. Uh, you'll notice in your, your program this evening, it just says announced from stage. Uh, the, these students, uh, a few months ago, did not play these instruments. And so in a very short amount of time, uh, we have got to the point where we're learning how to do different techniques and different things. And so we're going to kind of go through those and show those along with you this evening. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to have my colleague, Mr. Gregory Smith, start off with the sixth grade orchestra. That first selection was an open string cycle, so we are demonstrating uh, playing all of our open strings on the instrument all the way from low to high and then back again. Uh, and we're using a technique called pizzicato. So at this point, the students have not used their bows. They're demonstrating pizzicato, which is the beginning way we make sound on our instrument. Uh, the next thing that we're going to demonstrate for you is a speed drill. The speed drill uh, brings in not only the pizzicato on the open strings, but we also add our fingers in. Uh, and you'll see that we kind of move through this, getting faster and faster as we go along. So without further ado, the speed drill. All right, the next thing we're going to be doing is stepping away from pizzicato, and we're gonna be adding the bow, which is a really big step with string instruments, because the bow is not just held with your fist. It's actually a very specific bow hold that requires a lot of finesse and uh, specificity. So orchestra, can you please show the bow hold? And one thing we like to do in class is play along with some cool backing tracks. So we're gonna show you bowing on the D and A string. Here we go.
the next thing we'd like to show you is called fingerboard mapping. So Mr. Smith just recently showed you how to use the bow, how we make sound using that. We're going to now uh, add in the fingers as well as the open strings with the bow. So I'll be calling out different letters. These are the different letters of the D major scale that is the first scale that we learn uh, as orchestra students and that is what almost every song that we play is based on. So uh, without further ado, fingerboard mapping. play three quick songs without stopping. The first one is called Jingle Bells. You may know it. Um, this one involves five notes. So we're getting into play, playing songs. We'll play Jingle Bells. We'll play We Will Rock You. And we'll play Mary Had a Little Lamb. have two more songs for you this evening. The first one is the 
most well-known beginner instrument song ever, Hot Cross Buns. But instead of just playing one part, we're going to make it a little bit more complicated by adding a song called Dad Song, which has the notes D, A, and D in it. That's why it's called Dad Song. And so um, those songs are put together four times. Four times. So wait till you clap to the end. And the third time is different because instead of hot cross buns, we taught the kids how to play in minor to make it a little creepier. And it's called cold moldy buns. But we can't just end on cold moldy buns. So we had to play it one more time. The last time students get to choose whether they play hot cross buns or dad song. In our final song, Twinkle Twinkle, we're going to take you through the progression of playing pizzicato first and playing arco second, and that will be the final sixth grade song. At the conclusion of the sixth grade portion, sixth graders remember to exit the stage this way. Cellos line up along here, bases, pitch your bases back there. Okay, this is our final sixth grade selection. thing about our instruments is they're made of wood and so as they change temperature it contracts and the tuning gets a lot. So we do need to check their tuning. Um, the sixth, uh, the seventh grade um, has been amazing this year. This is the uh, Westwood and Eastern Heights seventh graders. I teach the Westwood seventh graders myself and Mr. Yi teaches the Eastern Heights seventh graders uh, himself. So the first time that these folks have played together was this morning on our awesome field trip. 
Um, and in their music, they're working on playing more than two parts. So we did hear during Hot Cross Buns the melody and the bass line. Well, this music is all four parts or five parts in terms of uh, the final piece, Dragon Hunter. We're going to, after we tune, start off with a piece called Abstraction, which is a very exciting um, epic piece.
right, our final piece is a piece called Dragon Hunter, and it's a very exciting piece. Um, this is like a level up in the music. Our first two pieces were tricky, but this piece is very tricky. And in the music, it even has what's called a uh, Del Senio Al Coda, which you have to you know, follow along certain parts and it's easy to get lost in the music. And so that's another thing that we've been working on. The students sound great on this. They've worked so hard and I'm very proud of the seventh grade orchestra. Uh, we have three selections in the eighth grade orchestra for you. The first one is the St. Anthony Chorale uh, by Franz Joseph Haydn, uh, arranged by Sandy Dachau, uh, and we hope you enjoy that one. The next one will be Pieces of Eight. Uh, this, this piece uses 6-8 time, which is uh, kind of a stretch for a middle school orchestra. Uh, it's a new time signature for us and, and definitely presents some challenges. And then our final tune is Burst, a uh, nice, big, loud, bombastic piece, and we hope you enjoy that one as well. So without further ado, St. Anthony's Chorale, followed by Pieces of Eight, and then Burst.
Thanks for your patience, everybody. I'm Miss Brown. I'm the choir director at Eastern Heights. And uh, also, thank you all for being here. It's such a wonderful turnout for our, our fall concert. And we really, really appreciate your support for our kids because they're, they're really phenomenal. And uh, yeah. <laughs> our first song is a folk song from Ghana. It's called Nanuma. Then we'll be doing a spiritual called Turn Me Round. And then a pop song called I Just Want to Shine.
stay standing, stay quiet, okay? Our next couple of pieces are ensemble pieces. We have, we're going to start with our baritone ensemble, which is all eighth grade. Eighth grade guys, which is really a fun thing to have in middle school. They have a bunch of guys that like to sing and do it well, so that's spectacular. And then we have a treble ensemble as well that's going to be following um, and uh, with a special treat with Maddie on flute. So give us one second. sister for a father. Nandi Badat on the piano, everybody. She was uh, helping me out. I was out with hand surgery, so it was very lucky to have a, a student pianist to join us. All right, treble ensemble. <laughs>
For our last two numbers, we're going we're gonna to do a, a couple of my absolute favorite songs. This one is a, a Lennon and McCartney song, one called Blackbird, and we have some awesome soloists on this one. And then I am the biggest Halloween fan in the world, so um, we learned a whole medley of Nightmare Before Christmas that we're going to share with you. So, um, but here's some Blackbird.
When Mr. Oogie Boogie says there's trouble close to hand You better pay attention now cause I'm the boogie man And if you aren't a shaking there's something very wrong Cause this may be the last time you hear the boogie song Thank you all so much. Once again, these are the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade choirs, and today was the first day that they all got to sing together. So one, one more time, if you would, for these guys. I'm very, very proud of them. And once again, for the orchestras, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade orchestras with Mr. Smith and Mr. Yee. Thank you all for being here.